Hello and welcome to That's The Point. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my work buddy Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing well. <laughs> here we focus on technology and more specifically, construction technology. Today is one of the fun ones because we actually get to talk about technology that's new, that's awesome, mm -hmm. that's just out. And uh, what do you have for us today, actually? Corey, we have the brand new, right off the presses, Trimble's new X9 scanner. Wow. So. This is as much as we get for an unboxing video, like a case yeah. is a case, but this <laughs> is the X9. All right, so that's super cool. So yeah, this is the big sibling um, to the X7, which is really, the Trimble X7 has really kind of changed um, the expectations of scanning and reality capture for construction. Um, and, it, and what Trimble did was he actually took all the things we liked about the X7 and took a lot and took those features and kind of dialed them up to 11 for the X9. Yeah, I mean, it does. So what we want to do in this video is talk about some of the new features and we're gonna focus on four areas where the X9 presents significant improvement. And those four areas are speed, distance, sensitivity, and imaging. And before we jump into it, we can easily cover what's the same. So just for simplicity's sake, we did bring an X9, or an X7 as well, it's compared to the X9. And you can see, I mean, largely these things are remarkably, remarkably similar. They're the exact same form factor, they're the exact same size. Uh, they've got the same UI, UX, and field links, so they have the same operation, the same day-to-day, -day, same batteries, same accessories, largely mm -hmm. the same battery life. I mean, the takeaway is, if you're familiar with the X7, you'll immediately be familiar with the X9. There's nothing, there's nothing revolutionary about that, and it's already in a comfortable package. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the yep. differences, and the first thing we want to talk about is speed. The X9 is built for production scanning. So if you're doing lots of high volume scanning, then the X9 offers some interesting productivity enhancements. Yeah, it, it really does. And when we're talking about low numbers of scans, right? Say if we're doing a CEP room, a small mechanical room, you know, scanning, you're not doing a ton of scans, you're not gonna see, scan time isn't yeah. that important, right? What they, what they thought about when they were designing and engineering the X9 was the larger stance, was scanning projects. When we're talking about hundreds of stations, mm -hmm. if you will, then speed because starts to become a yeah. huge concern, right? And so the math really starts to make sense. And we've actually got a chart that we can put up on the screen right now um, that shows similar coverages in the amount of scan time each unit takes. Now, we have some caveats here, right? We're trying to, this comparison, we did our best to make sure that we're getting the same coverage, the same amount of points. Um, we took out, we're not repositioning the scanners, it's just simply hitting the scan button um, to kind of compare apples to apples, if yeah. you will. But when you start at, say, 250 scans, right, you're already starting to get into a larger project, you start to see that diversion where the X9 and the X7 start to have a difference, right? In the X7, historically, you'd have about nine hours worth of scanning to, to complete those 250 scans. Mm -hmm. In the X9, you're down to already 6.3. Yeah. Then you jump up to, like, let's say, a 500 scan station project, right? The X7 would do, like, 17.9 hours, give or take. In the X9, you're dropping that all the way down to 18 point, or to 8.8 .8 hours, yeah. um, which is remarkable. And then you start doing these massive projects. It's it's just money in time in the bank because if you're looking at 1,000, you're looking at 35.9 hours of scan time in an X7, whereas the X9, you'd be doing like 17 and a half. Two time savings, essentially. 2X, yeah. yeah. So speed and high volume is really the single largest reason for taking a closer look at the X9. Another difference between the X7 and the X9 is distance. And this is easy to understand. The X9 is 150 meters compared to the X7 at 80 meters. Right, and so that's just how far the EDM is returning a distance shot. Um, and that's a huge difference, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I know we, we talk about meters when we talk about measuring equipment, uh, but for those of us here in the States, I mean, you're talking about like, you know, 260 something feet all the way out to like in, into the upper 400s. It's a big difference in how far you can get and how far you can reach. Absolutely. So um, the X9 also improves upon the sensitivity of the EDM, yep. meaning it makes more measurements on more surfaces. Yeah, and sensitivity is, I mean, that's it's a whole different conversation that every surface is not the same, right? Darker areas, diffused areas, um, areas that scanners have difficulty with, right? The X7 was actually revolutionary in that we put the high sensitivity mode in that. It would go into some of those darker areas, get returns where maybe some other scanners wouldn't. Well, with the X9, they've taken that a step further, and you'll actually see a lot of that, that it takes high sensitivity in the X7. In the X9, you get that in standard mode, which, again, high sensitivity takes longer, so it's just another one of those time-saving features that's built into the X9. Absolutely. And not, last but not least, imaging. So the imaging in the X9 offers some improvements. So to be clear, it's the same camera system, 
but we're seeing improved colorization and stitching of the panoramas due to some new image processing. And so overall, I mean, the X9 is an iterative solution that absolutely offers some concrete advantages uh, for contractors with specific use cases. Um, and I think we've, we've done a decent job of highlighting some of those here. Um, so, but I think it's to, just to recap it, right? We've got, we've got the speed. Yep, speed and high volume scanning, um, distance when you're in large open areas, um, sensitivity and low light and um, imaging when presentation is key. Of course, there's so much more to unpack with both these systems, figuring out which one's right for you. And your building point representative would love to bring it out to your site, do an on-site demo, um, get it in your hands and, and help you to see the differences there. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to them. And also don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks, Jonathan, we did it. Yeah, absolutely. Till next fun. time, I'm excited. I'm glad to see this thing here. This yeah, is an exciting great. tool. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's The Point.